B Marsh Boxing, what's happening, in the world? Damn, damn, damn. Sad news, man. Very disappointing news. I was looking forward to seeing Gamma Riggin down Fox this weekend on free terrestrial TV. Just like I saw him fight on um I think his last fight was also on Fox. You know what I mean? But um his opponent, former 112, I'm sorry, 115 pound champion. Laborio Solis. Laborio Solis will not be participating in this fight this weekend. So Brigandau will be designated to just being a spectator. The fight is off, or it at least has been postponed, and PBC are trying to work out plans to make sure that the fight happens in the first quarter of 2020. So Laborio Solis... The fight's not happening because of visa issues, you know what I mean? You check it. Uh, the visa issues are preventing the man, Laborio Solis, from entering the United States. Um, and that's what it is. It hasn't been specified what exactly it is. But according to Laborio Solis, he was well prepared and ready. But well, it looks like up until the day he was supposed to travel... Looks like he got, got denied, you know what I mean? For whatever reason. This would have been Laborio Solis' first fight in USA in his 19-year career. So maybe he didn't have everything exactly in order. I don't know. But, you know, I'm not going to say it's inexcusable because this is the United States of America. And, you know, sometimes they can do what they want, especially at the Border Patrol or Immigration or customs, you know what I mean? Maybe the guy did have his paperwork in order. You know what I mean? I'm not going to just put it out there like this guy slipping on his pimping or slacking like he ain't have his, um, you know what I'm saying, his travel documents together. But maybe he did. And maybe just because he's a foreigner, you know, the United States government or whoever the powers to be, whoever's in charge, didn't let the, the young man in for whatever reason. I don't know. You know, the guy is not like a vagrant, like a just a guy trying to sneak into the States. This guy's a professional boxer. I mean, the guy has 30 wins, five losses, one draw, 14 KOs. You know what I'm saying? Based up out of Panama. This wasn't going this would have been his first fight in the States, but unfortunately we ain't gonna see Gamma Regendow on the undercard of Jamel Charlo versus Tony Harrison and I'm so very so disappointed man I don't know about you but in my household when Gamma Regendow fights it's an event you know what I mean Def definitely highly anticipation for the Cuban Southpaw you know what I'm saying this would have been his third fight of 2019 and he hadn't fought in three fights in one year since about 2012 in seven years. So at least Gamma Rigandau is being active. And you got to give PBC props for that. Because when this guy Gamma Rigandau is over there on top rank. It, activity. He wasn't that active. You know what I mean? And I believe that's because of the networks. Whether it was HBO or any other networks that tried to throw dirt on his name. The former promoter, Bob Arum. No, didn't do this guy any justice, you know what I'm saying? And, um, but now him being on PBC, he was going to be, you know, uh, this was going to be his third fight, you know what I mean? And he was going to be fighting for that regular Bantamweight title, WBA, you know what I mean? Because the real champion WBA, I believe, is, um, isn't it Inui? You know he has the IBF. Yes, and the WBA. He beat off of uh, No Need to Donair. So, yeah, man, Gamble Rigandau will not be fighting this weekend. Damn shame. I'm very, very disappointed. You just don't even know to what extent I'm disappointed that the reigning lineal junior featherweight 122-pound champion will not be showcased this weekend. You know what I mean? But hopefully, God willing, like the publication I'm reading says, we shall see Gamma Rigging down. PBC will make it right, and he will make the fight happen in the first quarter of 2020. That could probably be between 
March and April. I'm sorry, January and April, you know what I mean? So might be a while since till we see him in the ring, hopefully sooner than later, but that's the news. Sad news, but it is what it is. Be Marsh Boxing, leave your thoughts and comments, and I'm gone. Peace. <laughs>